<laughs> guess what? I'm actually standing under shade purposely because I didn't want to stand on the to stand on the sun, so I'm like kind of dodging the sun. Welcome back, guys. Ah, I'm from eating mangoes, and I'm fearing my teeth has a lot of mango fiber. Please, if you're seeing any mango fiber, don't laugh. <laughs> I ate mango just along the way. Hey, even talking is hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Eunice. In case it's your first time here, please make it a point to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any video here with me guys. So, um, today I'm taking you somewhere. It's a bit dirty, sorry, but I'm, you, after all you're not going to get the bad smell so you're safe. <laughs> what happens is, <coughs> excuse me, there's a big dumping site kind of for, could I say for half of the district, yeah? so for starters my district is now a city hmm? <laughs> so we are moving slowly and i think that's why you see rapid changes also in my village a lot of nice buildings are coming up and all that so slowly hmm? we are also going to the city state as you get like the city kind of life so guys there's a dumping site and it's it it's like used by i could say half of the district yeah so it is situated not far from where uh, I stay and yeah today I just want to go and show you how they manage the place how they manage the rubbish How is it affecting us the people who stay near here? Like generally just everything. Let's just go and have a look up at the place I know a lot of you are going to say we still have a lot of bushes and all that kind of thing But guys guess what? Uh, I have a strong feeling that in maybe like five or ten years this place will be really really different from like you're going to look back at these videos and be like, what? Is this the village I used to know? Because a lot of changes, guys. I think you just noticed a very, there's another building right there. There's another one you might not see because of the sun. Just you, like a lot of buildings are coming up. Okay, they come one at a time. So you wouldn't really notice the, the speed at which they're coming. But trust me, for someone who has been here and knows what this place has been looking like, will tell you that this place has actually already changed so much and I'm sure it's still going to change more so I'm just giving it like maybe five to ten years and trust me a lot of massive changes in my village already and soon it will not be a village actually I think I should just stop calling it a village because it's no longer a village a lot of changes in my city already mm? <laughs> let's get going so guys I told you we are almost um, leaving the like moving away from the village kind of like I think you just noticed another nice building here and there's also a foundation right behind that one you might not be able to see but soon you're going to notice another nice house there like a lot of nice buildings there's also the other one there's another one somewhere here you might not you don't know if you're able to see like at least a lot of development is coming up and i feel really glad and trust me but just i think you can just see already the, the rubbish um dumping point here but people are still building even at, cl close to the dumping point you understand what i'm saying like a lot of developments, that's just all I can say. <laughs> the dumping area starts right from here, as you can see. So this is rubbish from the from the middle of the city, actually, I could say. It's like the city authority, the lands who manage the rubbish. So they collect from different areas within the city. Then they come and dump here. And from here, it is burnt. And I don't know the process so much, but they kind of... Um, just manage the rubbish and make it not to maybe flood all over the place so they burn whatever can be burnt and then they try to i don't know how they how they sort them let's just go in there and find out how exactly they do it unfortunately there's a lot of polythene bags and plastics and that is where um the biggest disadvantage now comes in the plastic bags are too many And I can see right here they have a grader. This is um, just to manage here, I'm sure. And I'm sure that's what they use for, for removing the rubbish. Because the whole this place, even where we are standing, used to be full of rubbish. The way you're seeing my background right there. Let's go. So guys, I think you notice a very big building somewhere here. And uh, this is going to be like a place where they, should I say processing or like recycling the rubbish. To make sure that they don't scatter the way you're seeing it scattered everywhere like that so it's just in process but i can tell it's a bright future even for us the neighbors like people who stay in the neighborhood of this place because it's going to help us with 
even the smell around and all that because i can tell you right now the smell that comes out of this place is not a nice one yeah so i'm grateful that they're doing something like this to help us people who stay around here and also just to manage the the rubbish and just make the place look more organized than it is yeah so um let's just head over the other side because there is a specific place where they keep uh, where they are going to be keeping rubbish like maybe from the hospital more of an incinerator is it called an incinerator let me know in the comment section <laughs> where they keep rubbish like uh needles uh things from the hospital you know there's where hospital rubbish is something else you get so they will be burning them in some other small house the other side yeah let's just go and check out that shelter So guys i think you notice it's a bit isolated because i told you um the rubbish anyway for them they know how they grade it yeah so they kind of isolated it and that is going to be the purpose for this and i think you notice another kind of a fence they're going to put here there's a car boundary here you notice the pillars that's for like a fence yeah looks like it's not so big of course because the rubbish is just for a particular unit only and i can tell you right behind here you're seeing where those cabbages are all those places used to be a dumping site by the way so it has all become uh, more of a garden this has i could say it's a, like advantage of the rubbish also everything has a, a bad side and a good side so the good side is it has actually made here fertile i think you've noticed and somebody is here renting this place guys they're not doing it for free they're using this land but they are renting it before they use it for gardening i think you notice So guys the thing is this whole place even where we are standing used to be full of rubbish as you can see you're seeing this pile and heaps and whatever that is all rubbish and just before this construction the other one and this was started this whole ground was like that so they just graded it and kind of leveled it and started this construction that's why i tell you that i can see a bright future for us here <laughs> I think you ought to also notice guys these are all plastic bottles just an initiative to find a way of fighting the okay how the 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 plastic bottles are littered everywhere so they try to collect the plastics and gather it and then maybe send it back to the factories for recycling So guys i think you notice how much the rubbish is from this angle it is really so much that if i tell you that we are so grateful for whatever they're going to put here to process the rubbish i don't know how much to like i don't know how much to express my gratitude guys because this rubbish i wouldn't really imagine where it would end maybe in like two or three or five years or even ten years from now because you can see all this heap and I can tell you, if this was not to be placed up here, this processing um, factory that is going to be put up here soon, we would probably have this rubbish, maybe up to our home there. I don't know, in like 10 or 20 or 15 years to come. Yes, thank you very much for watching. Let me know how your uh, authority, city authority or whatever, manage your rubbish. Because for us, this is how it has been uh, working out. But soon we are going to a better position, guys. And yeah, I cannot wait to share with you what this place will turn into. Maybe after the years. I don't know how many years. I cannot promise because I don't know how long this will take. Yeah, but I'm surely going to share with you how this place will turn out and look like when the processing plant is already here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know where you're watching me from and 
I hope you subscribe because if you're not, please ensure that you do it and also turn on your notification bells even if you were subscribed already before so that you don't miss any videos here guys. Ah, I think I'm headed back home. Let's go back.